Ah, oh, there you are. Good to see you all. Um, I was asked to produce a thought for the day for uh, for the sick form, but uh, as you'll see from the, uh, the PK polo, I'm not properly dressed for it because I've run out of shirts. So I thought, why don't we do a thought for the day on ironing a shirt? Uh, the upper sixth will realise that we did want to uh, get, uh, equip you with all the life skills that you need for going off to university. And we haven't quite got around to laundry before this wretched virus struck. So here we go. How to iron a shirt. Um, common steam iron. Right. I've got it plugged into the wall down here. Cameraman, could you oblige? And uh, once you take your plug, put it in the wall, switch it on. It's now on. You don't need to switch on uh, anything on the iron because it's kind of working for you. Uh, here's one I've heated up earlier. And uh, yeah, we've got it. Oh, I think we'll just move the mouse from the ironing board just in case. Put it there. Uh, so we're going to start with the shirt, which is a bit of a bugbear of ironers. Uh, and I've been doing a little study of how best to iron a shirt. So steam iron, obviously very important. You need water in the steam iron to make the steam. Apparently, water is what steam's made out of. There you go. In it goes. And we know it's ready when we give it a bit of a bit of a uh, toot there. That's good. Uh, the other button I've got here on mine actually squirts a bit of water. A lot of people iron shirts like to kind of give them a bit of a bit of squirt with water. There you go, shoot a little bit on that. Just make it slightly damp. If you can get them sort of out of the washing machine, it's a little bit damp. Uh, apparently it helps uh, hugely. So ironing a shirt, uh, start off with the collar. Uh, if you have got collar stiffeners uh, in there, then you really should have taken them out before you put it in the laundry because the metal ones, they, they make them look really good when you wear them, but they come out of the washing machine, they damage it. Uh, I do both sides of my collar, um, but one of the problems is uh, it does kind of wear away and then you have to go and ask the headmaster for a pay rise. Um, and then the last thing on the collar, uh, rather than ironing the crease all the way along, uh, I've found is just a little bit at the back. Just get, get the back line right and then the front just has a slightly less uh, creased look to it in the day. Uh, the thing about uh, ironing a shirt that I hadn't realised until uh, Mark Mearing Smith, because some of you will be really good at this, some of you military minded lot. A guy called Mark Mearing Smith and Macquarie taught me about getting into the shoulders. And you put the shirt on this end and you're going for that kind of area um, just behind the collar. If you can get that straight, then the shirt tends to look fabulous when you're wearing it uh, without your jacket. And then, so having done the shoulders, uh, also when you're using an iron, pressure down towards the heel. Not with, that will cause creases and things. Down with the heel is good. Uh, then we tend to go for the sleeves. Uh, obviously you want to sort of the end of the, uh, the collar. Uh, so more pressure on the heel there. And even sort of up inside the shirt I sometimes do. But lining the, lining up straight is good. And then nice all over there. If you don't like a kind of a line down your shirt sleeve, then only go kind of up to the end. Keep the pressure on the heel, and then if you get lucky, oh, I haven't got lucky with this one, uh, so sometimes you have to do both sides anyway. Let's assume I've done the other one. Uh, then, other little tip from the Iron Lewin book of how to iron a shirt. Uh, if you actually do the top button up, it makes stretching it so much easier. I tend to start uh, this way around, which for boys is the, uh, the unbuttoned side. For girls, you would obviously start the other way around. And then once we've got it like this, pressure on the heel, up we go to the top, and then we uh, we move round. And because of that top button, we can actually uh, pull it straight if we need to. And let's just imagine we've gone round all the time, because I'm running out of time on this and you'll be wanting to get on to your first lessons. But I'm gonna do the other the other front side here and make this work for you. There we go. And this is where I really wish I had a ready iron shirt. Um, but, uh, so uh, anyway, there you go, the completed shirt. Uh, so as it's that stage of term when there could be a whole load of those uh, lying around at home, it's something you could do to uh, help out your families uh, by getting stuck in. And I'm sure you'll feel better for doing something for other people. 
uh, and that's the purpose for thought for the day. But obviously, if you have been improperly dressed for any uh, lesson so far and uh, not wearing anything on your top, then uh, you'll get the message. Okie doke. Have a good day.